Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And welcome to episode six of Steal This Chord Progression, where I teach you a chord progression and feel free to take it away and use it for one of your own songs. For this episode, I'm gonna teach you a lovely, happy sounding chord progression that has this dark twist at the end of it. And because this is math rock, I'm gonna teach you an odd timing strumming pattern in five four, but I'm gonna give it this kind of pop sensibility just to make it a little bit more catchy. Okay, for this one, we're in drop D tuning and uh, uh, this is because it goes quite nice with this uh, D major 9 chord. So the first chord in the progression is an A major 9. Then we move to this D major 9 with a low D string ringing. And then we come to some of these kind of um, uh, d drop D chords. This first one is an E sus 2 sus 4 sound. Which sounds lovely. And then I make it a bit more tense by bringing it up to this slash chord. This is a C sharp minor seven with an F sharp in the bass. And then I come down a semitone to make it sound even more darker and to complete the progression. And this is uh, borrowed from the relative uh, minor of A major, which is A, A minor, of course, which is C major. And that's what these uh, flattened symbols mean here. Flat major three and this flat major six as the root note. So this is a C major 11 with an F in the bass. So I love the way at the end of this progression sounds. That sus two, sus two, sus four sound. Going to that minor sound. And then flattening in it. And uh, it's actually a major chord, but it sounds like it's very tense in this progression. Almost sounds, uh, well, this sounds very Jeff Buckley-esque, right? There's the chords, so feel free to take them away and use them like I said. And now I'm gonna teach you that progression that you saw in the intro, a strumming pattern in 5-4. So there's two different strumming patterns and they're both based on pretty popular strumming patterns that you'll see in pop music, but I've extended them into 5-4, so we've added an extra beat on top of 4-4 four, four there. So for the first pattern, you play A major nine chord and you count it like this. One, two, one, three, Once you've got it glued into you, you should be able to play it without counting and think of it more just as a rhythm. So the second rhythm is a little bit more simpler because it doesn't have a stop in it. So this one we're going to be counting as one and two and three and four and five. Let's do that again a little bit slower. One and two and three and four and five. One and two and three and four and five. One and two and three and four and five. So let's put them together. One, two and three and four, five. One, two and three and four. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this one. You can find the chords and the tab over on my website. So there's a link for that down below in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel, um, I really appreciate that. There's a number of ways you can do it. One, you can pick up some lovely merchandise over on my Teespring store, and you should see a, a kind of merch shelf thingy down below. And um, other ways is you can actually pick up my uh, math rock guitar techniques and music theory e-guide. So there's a link down below for that in the description too. And lastly, you can become a Patreon and you can get some uh, nice little goodies in return there. So as always, thank you to all of the patrons that are supporting the channel. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.